Drawing tablets like the XP Pen are lots of fun to use, but it is important to lay out your workspace and maximize the efficiency and comfort of the experience. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how I like to set up my area using my XP Pen Deco Pro MW. The Deco Pro MW comes with everything you will need to get drawing right away. This handy barrel hides a number of features, including the drawing pen, as well as a pen holder. It even has a nib replacement tool hidden in the other end. To get your tablet functioning correctly, it's a good idea to download the correct drivers for your particular model. They are freely available from the official website. Simply browse or search for your model, go to its product page and download drivers. Drivers are available for a range of platforms. Once the drivers are installed, connect your tablet. I chose the Deco because it can be connected via a USB cable, a wireless dongle, or even Bluetooth for when you're on the road. Of course, if you're going to go unwired, it's a good idea to switch the tablet on. The on-off switch can be found on the base of the tablet. The XP Pen drivers allow you to customize your screen mapping with a number of settings. If you would prefer to work in just a custom area, you can draw out a boundary or manually set the coordinates. And if you have multiple monitors, you can map the drawing area to all the screens or just a single one. I happen to be left-handed, so setting up the correct rotation for my tablet is going to be necessary. This can be done very easily by going to work area and under rotation, setting this to 180 degrees. Now, while the default settings are good for generic use, there will be times when you might want to map functions for specific applications. I'll be using Blender for this demonstration. Open the application, then in your XP Pen overlay, Customize button shortcuts and roller touch settings. For example, I'd prefer to use the dial to quickly increase or decrease the brush size when using Blender's grease pencil. There are some other shortcuts which come in handy, such as bringing up a menu or switching drawing modes. So assigning even the most custom shortcut keys is easy. I also remapped the pen's buttons to middle mouse click. And having control and shift functions helps me to easily zoom, rotate, and toggle between camera view and 3D port within the Blender interface. An efficient work area is a clean and well laid out area. Notice how I've got enough room for all the devices I'll be using. Make sure you have ample room for your tablet and can see your screen clearly. Now to test out this tablet, I'm going to draw the XP Pen mascot, Phoenix, using Blender's Grease Pencil. I've created some custom brushes for myself, which rely on good tablet response and good pressure sensitivity. The Deco Pro seems to perform excellently in all connection modes. The pen feels comfortable to hold, and there seems to be a good friction between the pen and tablet. I noticed that some tablets I've used in the past can be too slick, and this really distracts me from my drawing. So I do prefer uh, if it feels a little more like paper.
As I work, I take note of some of the functions that I happen to repeat over and over. And at any time, I can choose to customize the functions for the tablet's express keys and wheels. Overall, I loved my experience using the XP Pen Deco Pro MW. 
It's easy enough to set up for specific application use and an excellent product with good pressure sensitivity, response time, and simple customization.